I wanted to write about a girl who looks for answers about her life through tarot cards because I think when we're 13 or 14 we all have this fantasy that our life is a novel or a story that's sort of written in the ether somewhere and a tarot reading can give you a picture of your future. I mean, it's why we're addicted to astrology and that somehow the story has already been written and that it's this fabulous, exciting adventure. You know, no one ever imagines that their life is going to be one long, boring stretch of nothing. So tarot cards really seemed like the perfect medium or vehicle to present a story of this young girl's life you know, usually the answers are exciting, they're not usually dull, so that's why I chose tarot cards. I've been reading tarot cards since I was 16 years old. Basically everything that I know about tarot I've just learned from doing the readings. The very first reading that I did, we didn't, you know, we thought, oh, this is silly, this is dumb, you know, but we'll try it anyway. And it was for a girl who was asking about her boyfriend, who was the love of her life. And it was a terrible reading. It was the worst reading I've ever done <laughs> with, you know, the devil and death. And we thought, oh, well, obviously we've read these cards quite wrong. And it turned out that he was cheating on her. And it was a terrible, horrible disaster. So ever since then, I've been completely hooked on tarot cards. I'm amazed at how little things have changed since I was in middle school. The nice thing about writing about it is I can still draw on all of my horrific memories of cliques and the battles between the pretty imperfects and the geeks and the goths and, you know, some issues are just eternal and, you know, who's up and who's down never really changes. I think the styles of clothing change, but not much else does.